It's been at least two years since the disposable single-use flexible ureteroscope was placed on the market by, I think, Boston Scientific. And I never used that product because the acquisition cost was too high. So I've been using the traditional Olympus fiber optic and digital ureteroscopes until recently when Neoscope sent us a Neoflex flexible single-use ureteroscope and I'm going to give you a quick review coming right up. I had the opportunity to use this flexible disposable single-use ureteroscope today and it um, it was very interesting. Uh, you may be able to tell that it is very, very lightweight, first of all. When it was shipped to us, it came in a uh, kind of a plastic uh, package. It was not in a hard container. It did have a, a clear sleeve along the length of the flexible scope. And um, they also shipped us a processor. It's called a digital, uh, Video Processing Unit 5, VPU5. The top image is the front of the scope. You see the plug that goes into the VPU5. And then the record button re actually starts a recording of a video. Snap takes a still picture of the image that you're seeing on the screen. Automatic white balance is the next button and LED adjusts the intensity of the light at the end of the reader scope. That SD slot is a lo is the location where you can put, insert a, a, a SD memory card to capture your images. The bottom photo is the back of the uh, the VPU5. It features two HDMI outputs and a USB output so that you can plug that USB into a computer or a tablet to display images. The power goes into the DC 12 volt input plug and the switch for the power on and off is to the very right. You may notice the uh, handle. It has a it's interesting articulating control handle that is black and it sticks way out from the body of the of the uh, scope, which is uh, quite interesting. I'm used to having the adjusting handle much closer to the scope. Towards the back of the uh, scope, you will have a lure lock, and it, it's it's a straight inline. Uh, entry to the working channel of the uh, ureteroscope. And the other end of the scope has a USB type B connector that is kind of sloppily looking glued in or epoxied in place, which is kind of interesting. And this is after one use of the uh, scope. The tip is your standard um, uh, uh, CMOS uh, camera and then two uh, LED uh, light source and a, um, a working channel that uh, you see more towards the um, oh, one o'clock position. So the square is the uh, CMOS uh, camera that is uh, more towards the eight o'clock position and then the uh, two LEDs are uh, between those two. So it's, it's a very lightweight um, uh, Telescope, flexible telescope is meant to be single use, which is great. If you have a long case, you can simply, um, you, you can actually probably last a lot longer with your hand up like this and trying to manipulate the scope. The video quality is okay, 400 by 400. I performed a ureteroscopy using this disposable, disposable single use scope, and immediately after, I used a, an Olympus fiber optic scope. And yes, the fiber optic image on the screen is tiny compared to the image displayed by the Neoscope, uh, Neoflex single use scope. However, the detail that I could see with the flexible um, fiber optic scope is much better. It's, the image is much sharper, uh, believe it or not, than the, the image displayed by the Neoscope. I'm going to show you the uh, image that I saw when I used the disposable scope, that's that looks like a, uh, a uh, uric acid stone. It was radiolucent and it was very, very yellow and it broke up very easily. It's a very soft stone. The, the patient's urine pH was 5.5. So 
we'll see what the uh, chemical analysis shows. But um, I was able to uh, take care of a couple of stones in the mid and lower pole of the kidney using this single use scope without much difficulty. The back of the scope, let me show you guys, the back of the scope has a lure lock and what is not shown here, it comes with a TUI Boris Y adapter or a, a T adapter. So there's an adjustable biopsy port back here and then a port that goes down perpendicular that uh, where you can uh, plug in your irrigation fluid. I did have a problem when I was using this scope. I could easily insert a uh, say like a, a, a sensor wire, a cook motion wire into the channel without difficulty. However, when I try to use or insert, let me grab this real quick, a cook engage stone extractor. This is a this is the 1.7 French variety. I could put it in without any problems, but. Just a little bit when I could, a little bit in, I could feel like it would get stuck, as if the the working channel over here is not perfectly smooth, and I did have a little bit of difficulty trying to get this thing in there, like right there. So I could feel something getting caught, and it would not go in like right there. So this far in, it would get caught. I'm, I, I'll, I'll plan to, I'm planning to take this thing apart and try to find out where in here, in this working channel, why is it getting caught right there, which slightly delayed my case and was a little bit annoying uh, during the uh, procedure. The other thing that I noticed that during the procedure is that um, when I'm using this thing, this handle, this control arm is a little bit loose. I could be... Move, there's a there's play right here. So when I'm moving the handle, nothing is happening to the tip. Um, as advertised, the the articulating angle is is quite uh, impressive for a uh, disposable scope. Oh, there we go. Well, uh, the first impression when you pick up one of these is that it looks it looks and feels cheap. It is very lightweight. It is nothing like the reusable scopes that we're used to handling. But I think that's the nature of a disposable single-use scope. Um, the um, the overall impression is that I think in a pinch, it, it's okay if you want to deal with uh, kidney stones or ureter stones or uh, upper pole, lower pole, middle pole stones. I think this would be adequate. I think it also has enough axial rigidity to insert into the ureter without much difficulty. Um, I used the uh, this scope through a one point, through a one point, uh, I'm sorry, through a um, an access sheet uh, to, uh, recently, and it went through the access sheet without any problems. I used the Cook Flexor Parallel Ureto access sheet, and that went through um, went through the sheet with, uh, without any problems, and I was able to take care of the stone. So it does feel cheap. It works in a pinch. If I'm taking care of stones, I will probably use this scope without any hesitation. But if I'm looking for any urothelial cancer or any changes in mucosa, hmm, I think I'm, I may stick with my flexible fiber optic scope or a uh, dedicated reusable digital ureteroscope than uh, this one made by Neoscope. So if you have any experience using a disposable or disposable ureteroscopes or cystoscopes, let me know. I am in the process of evaluating a single-use flexible ureteroscope by another manufacturer. And once I have more experience with that scope, I will let you guys know. If you guys uh, like this uh, video, give me a like on the, on the um, Facebook Live video. If you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching content like this, Please feel free to subscribe. Take care.